never thought of myself as an artist. I think that was um, putting a whole lot on myself. I think I, I'm too humble to call myself an artist. I mean, now I'm kind of more comfortable with probably the suggestion that I might be an artist. I'm more, a little more comfortable in that, um, that space right now. I come basically from an artistic family. My father um, used to be involved plenty in making handicrafts. He was, used to carve, he used to make um, children toys. In 1992, I and some friends got together to, um, to do a party. It was for a charitable cause. And naturally, I ended up with the, with the portfolio to, um, to paint the banners to advertise the particular party. And people saw the work and liked it. And I, for myself, at that time, I thought I could just look and see that my work was the best. 90% of um, the work I do, is the posters I'm making for paint is, is to advertise events, entertainment. And I'm kind of inspired by the, by the music here, the local music, which is soca. It's it, it real vibrant, it's energetic, it's a dynamic music. music. And, and so I, get, I try to, my message to come across that same way. I like one way to describe my style, and that is vibrant. So I'm painting take up a, a, a very important role in the um, overall culture of Trinidad and Tobago. I think one of the reasons why it was, um, was one of the cheaper ways to advertise events, whether it be a chutney event, a carnival fete, a barbecue, a church service, you name it. From the person given the information, I put it on in my book. And this is my book here. I put on all my information here. The amount, everything. Of course, you would have a whole lot of things, you know, whether it's the promotion name, you'd want to say the promotion name presents so and so in collaboration with whoever presents the name of the party, the date, venue, time of, time of starting, information, contact numbers, name with contact numbers, all that kind of thing, sponsors. Now I can put all that on a poster. So, my poster essentially designed where somebody could be driving past and read it, get everything in a few seconds. And sometimes it'll be a challenge to try to get to convince them that it's in the best interest for their product for me to scale it down. Because the, the, the more it scale down, it's a better design I could give you, the less information they give me, the more I have to work with. They kind of trust me, and that is nice. I want them to trust me. I don't want them to put me in a box. I want the end product that they satisfy, and of course, I, I, I make sure that I am the first one that's satisfied. This is that eight by eight board, right? This is that big billboard. First thing I do is make a little sketch of it, so I get an idea how it will look, even, and trying to kind of imagine the colors, how the colors will look. Hardboard is what I used to use for sealing long ago. When I get the hardboard, put it on top of my table, prime it in, in a white, a white primer, concrete primer that is. That is the, um, I use that because that is probably the, um, the cheapest and it's it white. I, I like the whiteness of it too. Most of the primer, I'll cut down to whatever side that the, the client wants. Paint the lines, if you notice the lines here, but the lines just go right after I paint it white. So you paint the red over it now, so it cover the lines a little bit, so the lines kind of like get set back a little bit. So what I will do in this case here, is just to sketch the wood, make sure that it fits in properly, and then start a paint. So if I'm doing like 20 boards probably, I only need to sketch the first one. After that, the rest of them, I just do it by, by free hand, so I have a very good arm. I have a very good average, so I could watch, once I do the first letter, a particular size, if you notice all the letters now become kind of like the same size. Most of the time, the promoters themselves put up the posters. Sometimes, especially when um, a whole lot is involved, probably like, 30, 40 upwards, they, they um, request the, the services of, um, I, have one, I have one person who I link up with the promoters di di directly, 
And um, they put it out, they go out mostly like on a Sunday, and it's quiet, late in the night. And they, they the one that distribute it and put them up on the light post. So that, that is why people might just get up the next day and just see the signs appear. So somebody somebody responsible for that. If I'm not satisfied, whether the promoter satisfied or not, I think with I myself is um, I more important than what they think. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my opinion is much more important. Because at the end of the day, what outside there represent me. And I must have a, a, representati a representation that I satisfy them. And I always try to ensure that as much as I could. I was encouraged by other artists to join the Instagram, the Instagram, um, for the whole foreign Instagram, and I kind of enjoy it now. You know, getting my work outside, even seeing my work in, in a in a place all at once, because I never get that before. Because I would do something now, it out of my head. Now I see, I could go on Instagram, and I could see, just like everybody could see it. And I, and again, a lot of people from all over the world now get, get a chance to see my work and you know the inquiring and. I get a few jobs off of Instagram too, so that is, a, that is an extra bonus. We are um, planning to do a book, a picture book on my work. And what I'll be doing is, from, I'll be doing it for about three months now, is just um, make it have a collection, of, a collection of probably, I'll, I'll choose the, the jobs that I go along, I'll, I'll keep, keep a, a sample from a few jobs. So by the time the launch of the book, I'll have a, a nice collection and um, we'll do an exhibition of the, of the, the collection that I have. And plus that will be the launch of the book too. If anybody else asks me what's the most valuable thing I gain from my business besides, of course, money, it will be meeting people. A lot of friendships I gain through this work. So this, this work has been so um, good to me over the, over the 30 years. I'm very happy about that I, and I, I still enjoy that. And that's the nice thing about it, I still enjoy it. So I expect to be in this, in this for how much years again, for as long as I'm able to.